Given vector u in component form, find the magnitude and direction, which is the angle in which the vector points measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. And we're told to give the angle in degrees. Let's first sketch the vector in standard position, which means the initial point is at the origin. From here, because the x component is four, we move right four units. And because the y component is six, we move up six units to determine the terminal point of the vector in standard position, which is here. Which means the vector u in standard position is this vector. Notice by sketching the x and y components, we now have a right triangle that we can use in order to determine the magnitude as well as the direction of the vector. The magnitude of the vector is the length of the vector, which notice is the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So using the Pythagorean theorem, where c would be the magnitude, we have the magnitude of a vector is equal to the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared. And then the direction of the vector, or the angle theta, is this angle here measured from the positive x-axis to the vector. To determine the angle, we can use right triangle trig and use the fact that tangent theta equals y divided by x. Solving for theta, we have theta equals arctangent of y divided by x. We need to be careful though in determining theta to make sure it does terminate in the correct quadrant because remember, the output or range of arctangent is the open interval from negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. Let's begin by determining the magnitude, which is indicated using single or double vertical bars. We'll go ahead and use double vertical bars, which is equal to the square root, again, of the quantity x squared plus y squared, or in our case, four squared plus six squared, which is equal to the square root of 16 plus 36. We have the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of 16 plus 36 is equal to 52. But now we need to simplify this if possible. Let's look at the prime factorization of 52. Let's begin with two times 26, and 26 is two times 13. Well, two times two or four is a perfect square factor, and therefore the square root of 52 does simplify. We can write the square root of 52 as the square root of four times the square root of 13. And since the square root of four is equal to two, the exact simplified magnitude of vector u is two square root 13. And now let's determine the angle theta, or the direction of the vector. Theta is equal to arctangent of y divided by x, so the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is 6 fourths. Well, we could simplify this, there's no need to, because we'll be using the calculator. So going to the calculator, it's important to make sure we are in degree mode by pressing the mode key, and notice how degree is highlighted in row three. So we go back to the home screen, and press second tangent for inverse tangent or arctangent, six divided by four, close parenthesis, and enter. We're told to round the angle to two decimal places, because we have a nine in the third decimal place, we round up to 56.31 degrees. Now remember, it's important to make sure this is the correct angle, meaning in the correct quadrant as well as the given interval. And because we are in quadrant one, this is the correct angle for angle theta. So vector u has a magnitude of two square root 13 and a direction of approximately 56.31 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.